Hello beautiful, it's your favorite blooming bee, Tia Mora, back with another video for you guys. If this is your first time stopping by, you're absolutely welcome. We cover all things self-care over here from hygiene and perfume to health and fitness and lifestyle overall. If you're all about romanticizing your life and being the very best version of yourself, you're at the right place. Don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so every time I upload a video, you get notified. And for my loyal subscribers, I love you guys so much. So in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys about my absolute favorite body oils, both scented and unscented. Take it from me, I've used a whole lot of different body oils from both drugstore and high-end stores. Um, so these are literally my absolute favorites and the ones that I genuinely recommend because I think they do a really good job at nourishing the body. Now I do wanna start off by saying that I have super dry skin. So if you don't have dry skin, these might not necessarily work for you or they probably could. I do have one option that I know definitely is great for people with oily skin during the winter time. Um, all of the products that I mentioned today are gonna be down in the description box it's down below. So let's go ahead and get this video started. I do want to say before I jump into the unscented scents, they do have kind of light scents, but are all natural, um, depending on like the different ingredients that were used. Like if it has shea butter in it, it'll kind of smell like shea butter. If it has seaweed in it, it'll kind of smell like seaweed, but they are unscented. They don't have like added um, scents into it. They're just all natural scents. So starting off strong, we have the Osea Ondaria Algae Body Oil. So this body oil, Honestly, guys, I've been through, I started off with like the tiny bottle, um, the travel size, and I graduated from that and I was like, yeah, I like this a lot. So I got this bottle and I'm about to be out soon. And honestly, I love it a lot to the point where now I'm going to go get the biggest bottle. I think it's like nine ounces or so, eight or nine ounces. I think I'm going to get that one right after this one because I love this body oil so much. This body oil feels very luxurious on the skin. It has seaweed, which seaweed is very nutritious. So you know for a, a fact that your skin is going to be jam-packed with like lots of nutritious stuff in it. Um, and then not just that, this absorbs into the skin really well like quickly it does not leave you greasy at all so this definitely does a really good job at keeping you hydrated and moisturized i really like it i feel like this really goes in there and locks in all the moisture into your skin and gives you a really nice glowy feel throughout the day and this is a body oil that i think i'll always have and i'll always use i like to use this during the summertime more so versus winter mainly because it absorbs really quickly into the skin so it's easier for me to use this during the summertime but honestly year round if you have oily skin this might be one of the good options for you to try out um, for the winter time or like the colder months and I do say try out because not everything works for everybody right so try this out maybe try with a mini bottle if it doesn't work out for you then you know it's not for you but yeah just keep that in mind every product I recommend today I'm not saying it's gonna work for everybody it might work for me it might not work for you but I do think they're very worth mentioning and very worth um, you guys trying out. So for the next one, this is an honorable mention. And as you can see, I'm already getting excited because this one is one that I don't think I can live without. This is L'Occitane's Fabulous Body Oil. And this is the one that has shea um, oil in it. It has 5% shea oil. This body oil will keep you very moisturized for extended number of hours throughout the day. When I put this on, I have nothing to worry about, okay? I stay very hydrated and moisturized to the very end of the day or till my next shower. I love her with a passion. I will always own her. I run through this a lot. Um, I only started using this like last year, but since I discovered her, I've not been able to let her go. If you have really dry skin like me, you're gonna love her. And I really highly recommend that you try her out. Maybe start off with like a travel size and then graduate to this. But if you trust my judgment, go ahead and try this out because like she's absolutely great she's gonna take care of your dry skin and really well so this with like an amazing body butter or oil you're good to go this is top my top 10 no this is my absolute top favorite body oil ever L'Occitane body oil the one with shea they have another one that has almond I find that I don't necessarily like the scent of almond like that so I try to stay away from that one I just stick to all of their shea butter products because L'Occitane is a really great brand when it comes to body care especially if you have dry skin you're gonna love them so the next body oil is by one of my all-time favorite drugstore skincare and body care 
um, brands and that is Notorium. This is the Notorium Glow Getter Body Oil. Now, before I say this and you guys don't believe me, this is the one that I just finished up today. Earlier today, I just ran out and this is a brand new bottle that I'm about to start because this girl right here, I love her for everyday use. If you have really dry skin like myself, you're really going to love her. She has squalene in her um, and I believe this runs for like $25 or so, but she's really good. Okay, like she's really good. She keeps you very moisturized. I will say this leaves you greasy. If you don't like the greasy feel, you probably wouldn't like this one because this one definitely leaves you greasy for a good amount of time and then the greasiness kind of fades away, but it does leave you greasy. The aim, the whole goal of this particular body oil is to give you that glow, which is kind of where the name comes from, like the glow getter body oil, right? This, you, you will definitely get a glow. You will definitely be glistening in this. This does definitely leave you with a greasy feel. And I'm going to say it again. It leaves you with a greasy feel. So keep that in mind when considering this, but if you like that, like me, you're absolutely gonna love her. Um, definitely recommend her. She's an amazing body oil. She has squalene in her, which helps with that super um, hydrating feel. Even though it does come off a little greasy, it is still very lightweight. It doesn't feel very heavy on the skin. So that's that. This is definitely one that I had to mention for you. Okay. Guys. So the next body oil is by Shea Moisture. This is the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Body Oil. Now, I really like this body oil, but I really don't like how it smells. Once again, this is supposed to be an unscented body oil, but when I say smell, there's no extra scent added into it. There's no artificial scent or whatever. This is more so about like the coconut milk and the Acacia Senegal, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The Acacia Senegal, the Acacia Senegal is what I think I don't like at all. Yeah, there's just something about it that I don't enjoy. It's kind of nutty. I find that the only, the nuts, there's certain nuts that I just don't like the scent of. Um, but this, it doesn't smell bad, right? It's just sometimes I have to be in a good mood because sometimes it'll like probably make me a little nauseous. Um, but I like it a lot. As you can see, I've used up a good amount of it and I will keep using it. This is a very, this obviously I had to mention um, because it's a very good body oil. It definitely works well on my skin it keeps me very hydrated um it's lightweight as well won't leave you greasy this comes in another scent i think in like the it's like a pink or peachy um bottle and the only reason why i didn't get that one and i got this one instead is because that one i remember back in the day i used to use like the hair products for that line that scent and now when i think of it i'm like ah, it almost feels like i'm putting shampoo all over my body but i think i'll get over it once i get through this bottle i'll go get that one because i'm not a fan of this particular scent at all and i just started using this body oil this year and honestly i absolutely love it this is on the more affordable side this is 11 dollars for eight ounces and to be honest this could last you a bit if you don't use a lot of different body oils this could probably last you about a month or two in my opinion um but if you obviously use a lot of body oils like myself it's kind of hard to like go through body oils which is why as you can see the notorium one if i have ran through that you know how much i love it as well as l'occitane so yeah okay next on the list is one of my all-time favorite girls as well this is a lot more affordable this is the vaseline coco radian vitalizing body oil or more so body gel this is in the cocoa butter i love the vaseline cocoa butter line i buy everything cocoa butter from vaseline now as you can see i'm struggling there's barely any left and this is the second bottle i've run out of this year i have another empty somewhere i forgot to bring it for you guys but i will be doing an empties video for you guys so you'll see all my empties um, I have just very little left. I like to flip it up, upside down like this so I can get the last use out of it. But this is a very good combination of like cocoa butter and petroleum jelly, right? And it leaves your skin like very hydrated and moisturized for extended number of hours, right? So I really like this one, but I will tell you, it's going to leave you greasy. It will leave you greasy. It has like that glossy type of feel. You will definitely be glowy. Um, you will feel like it's a little 
a little heavy on the skin, but not necessarily. So I want to put that out there. But me personally, I love the feeling of greasy products, so I tend to go for a lot of greasy products. But I just want to let you know that this one is greasy. Um, and it does feel a little heavy on the skin as well. It's definitely not lightweight. Um, but this is really great. It has a cocoa butter scent, in which I really like. But the scent doesn't last for long. It does fade away after like... Uh, an hour or so so it doesn't linger for too long so this is really good to layer with like any of your scents or whatever um definitely love her i've been using her for so many years and i think i'll always own her because she does exactly what she needs so, to do next body oil is the avino daily moisturizing body oil mist of course i was going to talk about her because she's very amazing this goes for 12 dollars. one of my favorite things about this is that let me show y'all look at that you spray her okay this makes it like a whole lot easier for me um there's not all the like struggle with like trying to like pour like there's some body oils that i have that you have to press it and pour it in and i feel like that's so inconvenient right like this one for example the fact that i have to do that and keep is inconvenient to me but this i like the ones that have the pumps or a spray so that's my favorite thing about this one it's like a mist so it makes it very easy to apply because sometimes i just go straight to my skin and spray it and then i just start rubbing in so that's really nice about that this if you have oily skin this is one that i highly recommend for you for the colder months because you're gonna love her um she's very lightweight hear me out very lightweight out of all of the ones i have this is the most lightweight body oil i have as much as she's lightweight she's very moisturizing she's definitely gonna keep you very moisturized but you're not going to be greasy at all you barely even feel her after applying her that's how lightweight she is um but she's going to make sure you're not ashy at all okay during these co the colder months or whenever whatever season she's great for summertime she's great for winter anytime um but she's super lightweight so even if you have really dry skin like me but you like really lightweight products this is a very beautiful option to consider and once again she does go for 12 dollars. last option for body oils is Oma's Cosmetics. So I think I've mentioned Oma's Cosmetics before. This is a very, very moisturizing body oil. I will say this is more, one of those ones that might feel, it's like a good mix between thick and not thick. It's definitely not thin and it's not thick. It's a very good even balance, but I will say I love how this goes onto your skin. It is so soft. And whenever I use this particular body oil, it just feels like such a self-care moment for me. It's like I'm giving my body all the TLC it needs and I absolutely enjoy applying this on my body. It's like, ugh, love her. She's so soft. One of the softest body oils I've ever used. Love her so much. This runs for $20. Um, kind of uh, you know somewhere up there but she's really good and in my opinion very worth it this will last you a long time i don't think you need to use as much because the consistency goes a long way so you don't need to use as much so this might be able to last you for a good amount of time i definitely love this body oil quite a lot um this is i think i had mentioned to you guys before one of top five of my favorite body oils love her so much so now those are all of the different body oils that i have that are unscented that i highly recommend for you guys to check out every single one of those body oils i believe are very good for sensitive skin i don't know if the um this one would be i don't know if this one would be good for sensitive skin i'm not very sure but i want to believe all of the other ones should be good for sensitive skin especially this one this one and this one so those three are really good for sensitive skin. I know that for a fact, and I want to believe all the other ones should be good for sensitive skin as well. I think this one too is really safe for sensitive skin. Matter of fact, all of the unscented ones I've mentioned are ones that I would like to believe are really good for sensitive skin. So now let's go into the scented body oils. I do have a couple of brands that I'm going to be talking about, and some of the brands I have multiple options in them. So let's get started. You know what? I'll keep my favorite scented body oil for last because I think I want to talk a lot about that one. So I'll keep her for last. So let's start off with Soda Janeiro Boom Boom Body Firmiza Oil. Now, this body oil claims that it's supposed to keep your body nice and firm and all of that. I don't really know about that claim, but what I do know is that this body oil smells so freaking good. It has like pistachio and vanilla. It's like a very nutty vanilla sweet scent. Um, 
Mm. I feel like this could be used on a daily basis. It could be used any season. Um, and most especially during like vacation, it's a very beautiful scent. Now for me, how I do my, um, scented body oils. And I don't think I mentioned this in the video before. I have a thing called a, sam a sandwich method where I like to do oils before lotions, but generally it is advised to do lotions before oils. Why? Because lotions are water-based and when you put that on your skin it adds moisture to your skin and then oils help to lock in or seal the moisture of everything below it so when you put a, a lotion on then an oil you're gonna stay hydrated throughout the day me personally i've tried that it doesn't work as well for me so instead i do the opposite oil before lotion now hear me out if you choose to do that i will highly recommend that you come out of the shower with your body still like damp and then you apply your oil so, so that oil is locking in that moisture into your skin so my sandwich method is i put an oil i start off with an unscented body oil on damp skin then i put my lotion then i finalize with a scented body oil but then that might be a lot for a lot of people but i have super dry skin and it works for me and i like smelling good so it's perfect now this will be like uh, the last layer of oil on top of a body lotion for me mainly because I'm not gonna lie to you guys I don't know that this really does a lot of like Adding moisture and all that type of stuff to the skin or like keeping your body like nice and moisturized and glowy This one actually when I put it on my body it kind of like dries down. It's very thin very lightweight. It dries down quickly um, So I don't enjoy it for that purpose, but for the scent I feel like I always have this because it smells so freaking good and I have this product in like multiple different options in the body spray, in the hair oil, um, body shower gel, just a lot of different products because I feel like it smells amazing. Love it a lot. It's a vanilla, a nutty vanilla scent and this is year round. Next body oil that I want to mention that is scented is Omas Cosmetics. So I own almost like 10 different bottles of Omas Cosmetics and I'll just tell you guys my absolute favorite scents. One is warm brownie fudge. This literally smells like a brownie. If you are a gourmand girl or like to smell chocolatey and stuff, you're going to love this one. It definitely smells like that. Um, and on top of that, remember I told you guys that this feels super good on the body. So yeah, if you wanted to do lotion and then you just finish up with like a scented body oil, this feels very good on the skin. Like you don't have to worry about putting it on a scented body oil before a scented one. You can use this. This goes for both because this is very moisturizing and nourishing then fruit fruit medley this smells like fruit loops i love it so much um if you like the fruity type of smell you're gonna love her this one is cocoa butter cashmere it smells like cocoa butter and cashmere um i like it you don't really get it's not nowhere close to like gourmandi it's not it's just a light um cocoa butter scent but like more on the warmer end I love this one a lot and I like to use her to be a base for like a lot of things on like the daily basis. The next one I like is strawberry vanilla macaron. This smells so delightful. Just think of yourself biting a strawberry macaron. That's what this smells like literally. And then the next one that I also like is pink raspberry prosecco. This smells very nice. It smells like fizzy, like pink and fizzy very beautiful and very like um uplifting and the very last one that i like is pistachio macaron this smells like pistachio and if you know me you know i love the k ali yum pistachio gelato and i like to use that with that and also if whenever i want to layer um anything with like love don't be shy by killian i usually will use like my pistachio scents to layer that because i feel like they layer so perfectly well together okay so that's it for omas cosmetics now the next scented body oil that i absolutely love with everything in me is by skin potion so at the moment i currently own two of their um scented body oils but i also have their body butters and i'll talk about those right after this I know this is not a body butter video, but I promise it's it make, it's gonna make sense. So these are what their body oils look like. Very beautiful. These run for <laughs> $95, okay? But I do wanna tell you something. They're absolutely worth it. These are like 
almost like perfume oils, but they're not. They're actually body oils. These are body oils that will stay last on your skin for so many hours. They're almost like wearing a perfume. Now, the thing about Skin Potion is that their um, body oils are impressions of some of our favorite designer and niche house perfumes. Okay, like Ama Davina literally smells like Valaya. So if you've ever really wanted to own the Valaya um, perfume by Perfumes de Mali but can't afford it, consider trying this out. I promise you, you're not gonna regret it. She smells exactly like Valaya. There's literally a very slight difference. She smells exactly like Valaya and I love her. So I like to use this, especially when I'm using Valaya cause then she'll help my scent um, lasts even longer. Now, as you can see, I've used this quite a bit, but it's barely gone anywhere, right? Because this, these, a little goes a very long way. I promise you, like when you buy it and try it out, you see what I'm saying, but a little bit of this goes a very long way. So you don't need a lot. And also this is more so like a scented thing for me. So I just use it to like layer before I spray my perfume. Um, so you don't need a lot of this. So you can buy one of these and it'll last you for a very long time because you don't need to use so much of this on your body. And then this one is Kama Sutra. This is more so like a, a Bulgarian rose type of scent. So if you are a floral girl, you want to try out the Kama Sutra one. Um, and then Ama Divina. So this is like light florals. It's like Lily of the Valley and Champagne. It's like a fizzy um, floral scent. Uh, for Ama Divina and then for Kama Sutra this is like um very much of like a rosy type of scent so like if you are a floral girl true and true and you like rose you more likely will like Kama Sutra but I love these two so much like I said they last on your body for so long now I did mention that I was going to mention their body butters and for a good reason their body butters come off to me as scented oils okay because the way they apply on the skin I don't think I want to use this as a body body butter what I use it for is as a um, what you will call it a body oil these are what their body butters look like they come in two different sizes um, this is the four ounce and this is the eight ounce so I have two scents this is Costa de Costa de Sol this is more so like a very fresh everyday type of scent, like an elevated um, everyday type of scent. I feel like you could wear this to go to work um, or even vacation, right? And then this is cookie butter. So I have two cookie butter. I don't know, I was being overzealous and um, I got two because I thought I was gonna love it so much I wouldn't need all of that, but I promise you guys I don't. And I'm considering giving away this bigger bottle to somebody, I'll probably give it to one of my siblings um, because I'm not gonna be able to use up all of that. I'll keep the smaller bottle because I have too many products and I don't use every scent every day, right? So I'll keep this smaller one. But this is why, I wanna show you guys why I said this could go like a scented body oil. Look at this. And these two, a little goes a very long way. Look at this on my hand, right? Or on my finger. Let me put it at the back of my hand so you can see this. Look at that. That little bit that I put, and I can keep going if I wanted to, and keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and going. Look at that. And it's really nice. It gives like a very beautiful shine. Um, and it does stay like shiny and glossy like this for a good amount of time before like the shine starts to fade away. Um, but I really like it. It's gonna keep you hydrated but personally this feels like more so like a body balm to me than a body butter so i tend to use it as a scented a body oil okay so if you choose to go the route of these like i think these are a little bit more affordable than the um than the body oils so if you feel like you want to try them out but the body oil is too expensive for you i would highly recommend you try the body butters because you can use this as a body oil and i promise you you're gonna love it and this will last you a whole lot longer than the body oil. Like the body oils last long because a little goes a long way, but this is worse. This one, all you need to do is put a little bit, you see how I put a little bit here and then do a little bit here, maybe on all your pulse points and then you spray your perfume, good to go. So yeah, that is Skin Potion. I really love that brand and I feel like everybody should consider it and it's black owned too. Oh, Omas Cosmetics is also black owned. It's kind of crazy because I feel like my favorite scented body oils are all black owned. My absolute favorite scented body oils and I own over 20 bottles of them I know I know I I don't have I can't explain it <laughs> I can't 
So this brand is Brown Sugar Babe. And I know you guys are probably not surprised. If you've heard of Brown Sugar Babe, there's no way you're going to be surprised, right? So what Brown Sugar Babe does is they specialize in creating the most nourishing, soft, supple body oils that literally are impressions of your favorite niche house and um, designer house perfumes. And they don't miss. You know, it's so crazy because like the way they make the body oils so good and they do... they always add like a little twist to the scents. So like they'll either do make like some of the notes more elevated than the actual um, perfume is scent or less elevated than the actual perfume is itself. And however she does it, the owner of the brand is Makeda. However Makeda does it, she does it in such a way where like the body oils kind of sometimes smell better than the perfumes. I can't tell you guys how many body, how many of the, um, body oils have actually inspired me to buy their actual perfumes and i'll give you guys two examples one my tribeca um this one i didn't even buy it came as like a gift from like one of my bigger orders and i started using this and i was like stop it are you trying to tell me that bond number nine tribeca this is what it smells like i want it so i got it <laughs> now i have bond number nine tribeca because of this body oil the other body oil that I didn't know, the other perfume that I didn't know that I needed in my life that is literally one of my all-time favorite perfumes right now is um, Bulgari Allegra Bacciami. Oh, me freaking God. The body oil for that one is Kiss Me. The way Kiss Me smells so good. It smells so good. Whoo! I can't. So... Honestly, after applying this on a few times, I was like, I don't want to live without this scent. So I got the perfume. But their body oils are like literally the very best. And a little, once again, goes a very long way. My favorite scent from them, hands down, is Creme de la Creme. As you can see, I have the very biggest bottle of Creme de la Creme. Let me show you the three sizes of bottles they have. These are the three different sizes. This is one ounce. This is four ounce. And I believe this one is eight ounce. Those are the three different bottle sizes that they have. For me personally, I got my very first um, creme de la creme in the tiniest bottle. This is it. She looks beaten up because I've been using her real good. This is all I use all summer and she's almost out. Just to show you guys that like a little goes a very long way. I've had this bottle since May, since May and she's still there. She's still sitting there. Just a little bit before I run out, but I was like, I don't want to have to live without her. So I got the biggest bottle because this is the scent I use the most. The second scent that I use the absolute most um, for my brown sugar babe collection is Cocoya Village. And Cocoya Village is an impression of Ness um, Balinese coconut. And I love that scent so much. I got the Discovery, the Ness Discovery set. These are them right here. And um, this is Balinese coconut. You can see I'm completely out. And they're, um, these are perfume oils. I actually told myself, oh my God, I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy like the full bottle, it's $100. But when Brown Sugar Babe came out with Kokoya Village, I said, never mind. <laughs> I'll do that. And let me tell you guys, it smells exactly the same. And maybe even better. I love it so much. That's like one of my favorite scents. You can see I've used quite a bit of it and i've only had this for since may as well i got this since may and i've used that much because it's these two are the most used in my collection creme de la creme and cocoya village cocoya village is like a, a um like a earthy green coconut scent it has like bamboo in it but i promise you guys it's so elevated that it doesn't smell like green in a bad way it smells really beautiful and then creme de la creme is this is if you like um what you call it if you like vanilla 28 by k ali which is one of my favorite vanillas you're gonna love her because this is an exact impression of vanilla 28 by k ali which is why i use her up so much because that perfume i use her to layer like almost all of my scents if i want any of my scents to be a little sweeter or just soften it up a little bit because it's too deep or too sharp i use um k ali vanilla 28 and now 
I have excess supply of vanilla 28, okay? Um, so there's that. And then a good other couple of mentions, they have Moola. That's one of my favorite ones as well. Moola is like an exact impression of Georgia Lira, which is a lemon pound cake vanilla type of scent. And once again, I'm a citrus babe and they always get me with the citrus scents. So that one is really beautiful. Such a gourmand scent. It's like a cupcake, a lemon cupcake or lemon pie, whichever one you want to look at. But yeah, that smells amazing. Um, another one that I love so much that I started off with a little bottle and then I went ahead and got a bigger bottle was Island Girl. Um, Island Girl is not an impression of any perfume at all. Island Girl is a brown sugar babe special. So they made that scent. And honestly, the way that scent is so good, I genuinely feel like they need to make a perfume for it because there's no perfume for it, but they have perfume oils. But, but brown sugar babe also has perfume oil so keep that in mind but i started off with a tiny bottle here it is and i got the bigger bottle in which i can't find right now um well i have too many bottles like i'm struggling to go through them but yeah i got the biggest bottle because i love it so much and that's island girl it's like a very like think of like all the tropical scents that's exactly what it smells like it's a very nice tropical um what you will call it a very nice tropical body oil so Bottom line, Brown Sugar Babe is that girl. Let me just show you guys a few of my collection. Ugh. I'm not going to be able to carry all of this, but I want to show you guys how much of it I have. I can't show you guys everything once again, but this is how much Brown Sugar Babe body oils I currently own because I can't get enough. Like I told you guys, I have over 20 bottles. And I don't regret it because they're going to last me a very long time. Um, they're absolutely my top favorite scented body oil brand. Once again, if the prices for some of your favorite perfumes out there are too expensive for you, consider trying um, Brown Sugar Babe. The four, ounce, the four ounce bottles go for $65. And I don't remember how much these go for. I want to say like $18. I might be wrong. Don't quote me. Um, and then the biggest bottle, the eight ounce, they go for $95. Um, so yeah, but then once again, remember I said, these goes, uh, these go a very long way. Okay. So like my high, I will highly suggest you get like one unscented body oil and then maybe try out one of their body oils for a start and see how you like it. Then keep going. If you were to ask me and you are a vanilla girl, I will highly recommend just go ahead and get the biggest bottle of like the creme de la creme which is $95, get that one and keep it. So you can use it to like layer your scents like on a daily basis and this will last you a long time. I'm not exaggerating. When you try it out and you enjoy it, let me know. But yeah, so right there, we're gonna be closing out the video. Those are my absolute favorite body oils, both scented and unscented. And if I didn't mention any of your favorites, please go ahead and leave them down in the description box so we can chat about it. Also, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a perfume video. Don't worry, I'm gonna have lots of perfume videos coming your way, but go ahead and let me know what kind of perfume video do you wanna see next? Like, do you wanna see my top favorite for fall, for winter? Do you wanna see my my, um, Middle Eastern favorites or recommendations do you want to see like my favorite niche house perfumes you, date night perfume what do you want to see like let me know in the comment section what kind of perfume videos you want to see from me and I'll start ramping out those videos for you guys okay so I hope this video was very informative for you guys and you learned one or two things and you are considering trying out one of these products that'll be really exciting if you do try them out please come back and let me know how you like them thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another video and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Love y'all. Bye. I'm out of, yeah. Baby, you my only number one guy. Even in my down times, yeah. I can't get you out of my mind, sorry. I can't get hey, I didn't run a thousand days just to find you in my way.